Welcome to Sotheby's Australia's June sale of important Aboriginal art. It is with particular pleasure that we present this meticulously curated sale, put together with the highest respect for their makers to reflect the finest works of art available for your consideration. We are honoured to be offering eight important early Papunya boards from the highly esteemed John W. Kalugi collection. This collection was predominantly assembled during the early 1990s, prior to the establishment of a broad international indigenous art market. Having been held within the same collection for over 20 years, this is the first time that these eight works have appeared on the secondary market. We are committed to sourcing and offering only the finest examples of contemporary paintings and sculptures by Australia's most significant indigenous artists. A highlight of the sale is Jinjarali Mandawalawala's Garamala and Bulukbun, 1988, which originally formed part of the highly acclaimed Holmes Court collection. Jinjarali regarded this painting so highly that he reacquired it for his retirement when it was sold by Sotheby's Australia in 1999. We are also delighted to offer Noya Pollard's Swamps West of Nirupai, 2006. The only privately owned winning painting of the prestigious Telstra National Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art Award since its inception in 1984. In addition, we have a very fine selection of 19th century artefacts. The recent discovery and repatriation of the collection of Carol de Min by our colleagues at Sotheby's in Prague should generate keen interest. The rainforest shield within this group is exceptional and retains much of its original painted decoration underneath a deep patination. To follow on with our tradition of repatriating important collections to Australia, we are proud to present Albert Namajira's Alara Creek, Western James Range, 1945, which finds its way home to Australia from the United Kingdom where it has been lovingly admired since 1945. A painting of exceptional quality, Ilara Creek exudes the confidence and enthusiasm by the artist that is only evident in a small number of his finest works. Finally, our cover painting is a work of exceptional quality and significance. Shorty Lankara Jungarai's Big Cave Story, 1972, is an early masterpiece by an artist who many consider was the greatest of all founding Western Desert Masters. It shares strong similarities to Women's Dreaming, 1972, in the collection of the Art Gallery of New South Wales, Sydney. Both paintings are iconic examples of early Western Desert art, and Big Cave Story, 1972, has been held in the same collection since it was acquired by Professor Seagram from Pat Hogan in 1973, shortly after its creation in 1972. It has been my pleasure assembling this collection and we look forward to personally welcoming you at Sotheby's Australia in both Sydney and in Melbourne.